Hey guys, today I will talk about Euro USD, a sideways movement, a range pattern. The bias remains bullish, so we'll talk about um, new opportunities and uh, trading scenarios here on Euro USD. Read disclaimer here, support if you have questions. So please read the disclaimer. And don't forget, guys, that um, yeah, today um, mixed economic data, Eurozone, German, French, mixed economic economic data. And um, also um, later today, guys, we'll have uh, we have yeah the Canadian the Canadian retail sales uh, the, the the Canadian retail sales uh, data could have an impact on the U.S. dollar, but um, very very important um, the U.S. flash manufacturing PMI, um, which is expected the indicator is expected to remain in the in the contraction territory. Um, actually, maybe it could drop from 49.2 to 49.0. Flash services PMI. A potential uh, potential drop also here from 52.6 points to 51.5 points uh, signaling maybe a slowdown in expansion something like this so um, the, the US economic data could uh, could really shake the markets uh, could uh, could bring some volatility here on euro USD and <clears throat> after this uh, amazing rally a retreat okay and uh, it has rebounded and it moves. Uh, it moves uh, sideways in the short uh, in the short term between 1.0982, 1.0909. <clears throat> and personally, I will um, maybe I would like the price to escape from uh, from this uh, from from this range before taking action. But also, um, maybe I will um, I will try to identify also potential trades inside of this uh, inside of this range. Okay, because if it uh, if it drops, if it uh, tests, retests here, if it registers only false breakdowns, false breakdowns, great separation, then maybe I will look for longs because uh, it could um, it could uh, turn to the upside again, it could uh, come back higher. Um, and uh, um, that's why I will look for longs also inside of this inside of this range because the medium line of the descending pitch for represent a dynamic support test retest could signal a potential new rally here. All also staying near um, maybe staying near um, 1.0982. Okay, here could signal an imminent breakout. And uh, also I will try to identify a potential long opportunity. Right. Also um, only um, testing and retesting maybe here false breakouts new false breakouts with great separation could signal a potential new downside movement at least towards the, the range is support so I look for shorts okay and in my opinion guys if um, if the US data will come in better than expected better than expected US data could uh, could lift okay could uh, could boost the US dollar could force the euro uh, euro USD to come back down to drop and in my opinion also in the short term, this sideways movement and uh, after testing, retesting here, after registering only false breakouts, um, this uh, this sideways movement and or this range could represent also um, a distribution pattern, um, a downside, a, a bearish pattern. Okay, but uh, we need confirmation. I told you, test, retest, and false breakouts could signal a potential drop here. Also, very breakdown here, and the new lower low could really activate a potential downside movement at least towards this uh, this order block and demand zone here. Okay, so this could represent also um, a bearish pattern, right? After um. After its uh, strong growth, this could represent a. Um, a bearish pattern but um, maybe in the short term I'm still looking for uh, for potential longs only because uh, yeah the DXY is still under pressure the DXY uh, yeah, rebounded here but it remains to see I told you uh, earlier today in my market breakdown video that uh, consolidating here accumulating more bullish energy could uh, still signal a potential rally but it remains to see what will really happen because the, the US economic data could be um, the, the economic data could be decisive today better than expected US data could help the US dollar to, to take the lead to dominate uh, the currency market um, to um, to appreciate uh, uh, could help the US dollar to appreciate versus its rivals, or poor economic data could um, could force the, the DXY to drop again, could force uh, the Euro USD also, boom, to develop an, an upwards movement. Okay, so um, I will keep an eye also on on lower time frames, but uh, please take a look here, right? Um, it has reached this order block rebound. Okay, maybe here coming back to test retest um, this uh, this uh, this level here could bring us 
also maybe potential potential longs in the in the short term here um, on lower lower time frame so right now uh, i'll keep an eye on on, on euro usd maybe I, I would like the price to come back uh, down here to test retest before developing a new bullish momentum or taking out here the resistance levels the supply zones could signal could signal an imminent breakout upside breakout from from this range that could uh, could activate a, an upside continuation okay thank you guys don't forget that the economic data could, could really shake the markets. Uh, risk disclaimer here, please read it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please like this video, comment right below it, share it. Learn to trade Forex signals if you want to join the VIP group. Bye-bye.